April 18th, it's noon here at Fontana Dam, coming off a fabulous zero day with my lovely wife Betsy. She drove four and a half hours to come and, to come and see me. Um, she's going to walk across the dam with me and then see me to the edge of the Smoky Mountains and she's going to head home and then I'm going to head on up to uh, Shuckstack and get this party started. Dam is massive. Pretty good view. Yeah, it is. Go away, bears. <laughs> Tell them again, baby. Go away, bears. Okay, there's my permit. AT through hikers deposit permits here. And there we go. Really enjoyed my time in Fontana and uh, Robbinsville. Had a Nero followed by a Zero. And then today has been a Nero. I'm gonna try and get to uh, Molly's Gap Shelter, 9.9 .9 miles according to the sign back there. Uh, feels good to be back on trail, back in the woods. My feet were itching to get back out here. So it's Sunday afternoon. I've got 40.1 40, 40 miles, I think it is. It's either 40.1 or 41 miles to... Uh, newfound gap so uh, my plan is to be there Wednesday evening catch a ride into uh, Gatlinburg hang out at the uh, Motel 6 for the night pick up my resupply box get back on trail uh, Thursday morning All right, it's exactly 3 p.m. AT goes to the left, and then to the right is uh, a tenth of a mile trail up to uh, the Shuck, Ta Shuck Stack Fire Tower and the Fire Warden's uh, Cabin's Ruins. So I'm going to go ahead and check it out while I'm here. In the fire tower there's Fontana Dam way down there and I'm um, up here and a couple of Ridge Riders are up here hey. <laughs> hello hey how are you guys today doing good, good. doing good y'all want to say your trail names yeah I'm Ricky or Captain Caveman and I'm Amelia or Treeline cool yeah. uh, happy to meet you guys and share this amazing view Okay, so the Ridge Runners told me that the Molly Shelter is over there. Got 3.1 miles left to Molly's Ridge Shelter. And uh, look at all the little wildflowers everywhere. The ground's just blanketed with them. It's beautiful through here. Uh, I don't know how well you guys can see them. I just can't get over how beautiful this section is. So it's uh, 7.37 and I have made it to Molly's Ridge Shelter. 
and scope out the situation and uh, find a place to set up. This is crazy. There's tents everywhere. Hammocks. Awesome. Trail's right over there. I just decided to cowboy camp here. <clears throat> and there's the sunset. I'll check in in the morning. Okay, so I just have to brag on this camp food. My wife got me some portobello jerky, roasted garlic and black pepper. And I'm putting it with my pinto beans and making tacos. This is probably the best dinner I've had on trail so far. It smells fantastic. Morning, it's 7.07, April 19th, day 19. Making some coffee <clears throat> at uh, Molly's Ridge Shelter. It's kind of interesting, the clouds are coming back off over the hill and going behind the shelter over there. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy some coffee, get packed up, and get moving. So, left Molly's Ridge Shelter about 8 a.m. A little few minutes after. Just walking along, it's 43 degrees. Got a misty morning. And uh, word is that the lows for Wednesday are going to be in the 20s. So, should be an interesting adventure in the Smokies. I'm trying to get these feet warmed up. My uh, puncture wound is healed up just fine, so I decided not to cover it today. So it's about 8.30 and the trail's up over there. I stopped uh, to take care of some hiker business, walking out through the woods, and look what I came across. Uh, looks like a bear trap to me. Interesting. So here's the other side of it, and it looks like the uh, it's just wired open. hasn't Apparently hasn't been used in a long, long time judging by all the vegetation growing up around it. Anyway, interesting find nonetheless. Back on trail and uh, the sun's coming up, burning the fog off, and it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. My understanding is it's supposed to be up in the 60s today. So really looking forward to, uh, I'm going to do at least 12 miles today. And enjoy the weather and this beautiful scenery man the smoky mountains so far have been just absolutely beautiful so uh met up with the uh, off trail had the shelter last night got to say hello and we've been kind of leapfrogging today so uh it's a joy hey guys <laughs> how are you doing today i'm doing good it feels good out here i was actually looking at our amazing water source over here <laughs> it looks like we're gonna hit another one in 1.4 miles so i think cool. i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait a little while and get some fresh water that's not mud water sounds like a good plan <laughs> <laughs> so, so off deep. trail and i were just hiking along and come around the corner <laughs> and uh wanderer starts going fruit 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 <laughs> we we're trying to figure out and looked over and uh this fine gentleman here beans uh Hiked up here and brought us some trail magic. So awesome experience. Thank you very much. Good luck. Super excited. Amen. Fresh fruit. <laughs> Yay. Thanks. And fireball. And fireball. <laughs> Check it out. We came across this. You mind DJ? I'm taking We came across this bald. And uh um there's beautiful views up here. Look at all the rhododendron. Sure okay. <laughs> Sorry. That view. The lay of the land. A wanderer's enjoying the lay of the land. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> so we were hiking along and came up uh we came up on a ridge runner and she is kind enough to um can you tell us your name and it, it kind of briefly explain what a ridge runner is because i had no idea until i came out for my through hike so my name is yael or yaya and a ridge runner is an educator. We help to teach folks about Leave No Trace. We're also a little bit of a maintenance worker. We help to keep the privies and the shelters in order and clean. We also are a little bit of backcountry medical. We respond to emergencies and search and rescue. And we generally make sure that folks are having an enjoyable and safe time while also respecting the park while they're out here. That is awesome. Well, we very much appreciate uh, meeting you and we appreciate what you do for sure. You all have a great hike. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. So we are almost on the summit of Rocky Top. <laughs> Woohoo! So we spotted the tower from yesterday. I got a picture of it. Let me see if I can. It is right over there, and I'll insert a picture of it. So that was Rocky Top, and there's supposed to be second Rocky Top up here, and then in six tenths of a mile, something like that, it's Thunderhead. Uh, beautiful up here. Pretty sure this is Thunderhead. <clears throat> It's gonna be beautiful in June. All these roadies bloom. That was a little challenging. Slowed me down some. We'll get there. One step at a time. It's about 5.30 and uh, three-tenths of a mile from Derek Knob Shelter. Probably going to go ahead and hang it up there for the day. It's uh, 12 miles for the day. Good stuff. Check in later. It's about 8.15. I've eaten bear bags in the air. Basically a tent city. I'm set up over here. Gonna cowboy camp tonight. I'll check in in the morning. Seven thirty-five, April twentieth. There's a sunrise up there. Here's where I slept last night. Here's the tent city, a lot of it's gone. Some of them got up real early this morning and we're planning to do an 18 mile day today. I'm thinking about 13. So it's 7.39 a.m. I am slowly making my way down the trail, getting my feet and my body warmed up. I've got my frog togs on this morning to break the wind. It's kind of windy back there to shelter interesting tree and uh my goal today as it stands right now is to uh get on the other side of clingman's dome to uh i think it's mount kramer shelter uh it's 13 miles so not a huge day totally doable but i suspect that uh Clingman's Dome will be some work to get over. Maybe some really rocky sections. So, I uh, figured a little bit early start this morning will help. Realized I forgot to uh, tell the mileages. 
Um, so Derek Knob was at 189.8, and then today, uh, <clears throat> um, Clingman's Dome is at 200, like right on the nose. And then the shelter that I'm trying to get to is uh, 202.8. It's Mount Collins, Mount Collins shelter. Getting closer, 7.4 miles. Clayman's Dome will make mile 200. Can't believe I'm this far along. I'm enjoying these smooth sections. I know there's going to be some rocky stuff coming up, but I'm eating this up right now. It's like a walk in the park. Yep, keep heading in that direction. And that is the tallest peak around, so I imagine that that's Clingman's Dome. It is 10 after 11, coming up on uh, Siler's Bald Shelter. Managed to keep it to a uh, 30 minute break at Siler Shelter, and uh, got Filled up both water bottles. They had a really nice piped spring back there. And uh, several folks caught up and we got to chat for a few minutes and then uh, back on trail. This is cool, the vegetation is changing. We're kind of getting into the sort of the uh, alpine zone, as I like to call it. Well, there's nothing but conifers pretty neat smells like Christmas two point two miles to go I am once again getting to relive a hike that uh, I did with my wife uh, last year. We, all right, here's the uh, junction that Betsy and I took. It gave us a little taste of the Appalachian Trail. We came, we came from up there, and then we went down that way back to the parking lot. So, three-tenths of a mile and 4.3 to the shelter for this evening. All right, made it to the summit. So guys, this is 200 miles. Yeah, 200 in. 200 plus the approach trail if you did it. Yep, so we did it. So this is it, 200 miles. And a nice clear day to view up here. Fantastic. I'm not going back up today. Hey Alex. Yep. We have a north right here. Okay. It's 2:35. I'm back on trail. Also, the mountain to see as well. Pretty cool. Um, so I've got 3.9 miles to get to uh, Mount Collins Shelter, which will be my home for tonight. And look at this: the 200-mile mark. Woohoo! Just stopped and took about a 30 minute break. Talked to my wife for a little bit, made a peanut butter taco, and back on trail now. I've got uh, 2.4 miles to get to the shelter. It's like 3.36, I think. So, uh, should get there in about an hour and a half, maybe.
That's the intersection for uh, Mount Collins Shelter. Looks like we got another half mile. So I think I'm going to try sleeping in the shelter tonight. It's like a pretty good bunch. Because I already did my zero today. Oh, you did it yeah. Or yesterday. Here? I did near it. Also it so. like I slept yeah. in Gatlinburg last Good morning. It is April 21st, 7.42 a.m. And uh, just left the shelter. Headed to... Uh, Headed to Newfound Gap, got about five miles to go. Need to get there by 11 uh, to grab a shuttle. Headed to Gatlinburg for resupply. 7.57 a.m. and it's starting to snow a little bit. I'm slow going this morning. The ground is cold. It's not frozen, so I can tolerate it, but it's cold. Now the rain, snowy mix is starting to turn a little more towards snow. It's still light. Got about an hour and a half left at most. Assuming this terrain is smooth. With Wanderer and Off Trail. And uh, I think we're inside of a mile now. Snow quit, now we're just kind of in in a real thick fog it's getting colder all the time but we're uh, we're a highly motivated crew because we're headed towards town perfect timing it's 10 23 we made it to newfound gap and uh, we've got a ride scheduled at 11. we're also at the uh, tennessee north carolina line Five, nine, five, six. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 